Why you move to Dominica? Isn't that a third world country? Yeah, but do it look like I'm living third world to you. So in today's video, we're going to do an apartment walkthrough. And I want to do this for two reasons. Um, one reason is, is because people, you know, send me or make comments or send me messages and say, hey, man, it look like you got a nice place. Uh, can you, you know, do a walkthrough, show us what you, you know, how are you living? And which I don't mind doing that. Um, I think it's, you know, gives you an idea of how you can live in Dominican Republic. And number two is one of the most important reasons is, is that people think that, you know, Dominican Republic is this third world country, which I don't personally think is a third world country. They always say, you know, it's a poor country with poor people. I say, no, it's a rich country with a lot of poor people. But there are different types of lifestyles that you can live here in Dominican Republic. And I just want to show you one of them, uh, one of those lifestyles um, that you can live when you're here. You know, because people think, oh man, you're in Dominican Republic, you gotta, you, you don't have any running water, the lights go off, and you got tin roofs and all that crazy stuff. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah, in some places that does exist. But where I live, that doesn't exist. So I'm gonna show you guys how I live here in Dominican Republic, or how my family lives. Let me say my family, because I don't got a clue my family, man. I love them. So we're going to uh, go inside the apartment, check it out, and let me know what you think. All right, so we're going to walk inside the apartment. And once you walk in, you have, like in most places, you have your living room area. Toward the back, that's the dining room table. And over here toward the left-hand side, that's my workstation. So that's how the place is set up. Pretty open here when you walk in. And kind of just show you up here. Kind of look at ceiling. Got your little lights around there. I kind of like that. So right when you walk in also, you have your bathroom here. You have a guest bathroom here to the right. I'm not gonna go in all the bathrooms, guys. You know what a bathroom look like, but it's a half bathroom. So when guests come in, you know, they could, you know, use the bathroom now to go in your personal bathrooms. If I could turn around right as you step halfway into the, the living room area, you have, we have our TV here. I guess you call that a little entertainment center over here on the wall, little decorations and things like that. Of course, our living room table, got a couple of books that I read right here. All right, so as you walk here, of course, you got the dining room table here and my workstation here with everything. And don't laugh at my chair. I know I need to change out my chair, but I just don't want to change it. I know it's bad, but you know, it kind of motivates me is my motivation that shows you how hard I work and I'm always sitting in there always working so I'm gonna keep that until it just actually so I guess the one of the springs poked me in my back and I just got to get a new one and here is of course I have all my camera equipment you know printing things like that so and over here just have a little table where we put you know just how I put my keys and we got Alexa there and camera and all that and right here is a balcony and i kind of don't want to go out in the balcony because you know you kind of look at landmarks and people like oh i know where that place is but let me kind of like go out just for a second kind of show you we're on the eighth floor so i'm gonna give you you know a small view so let me go out here all right so we're out here on the balcony and you know this is my view right here this is one of the views right here over here patio set right here where i sit out here on the the balcony sometimes and just you know well a lot of times i'm sitting out here on the balcony and just having a cigar or taking in all the fresh air so we're going to go back in and this is how it looks as you walk into you know from the balcony and as you see right here is our staircase and we'll go up there in a minute but before we get over there we're going to walk over here to the kitchen area and this is the kitchen right here Got my leyenda, I love me some leyenda. And like I say, this is this is the kitchen area. And if you open this door right here, it takes you to the service room. So this is where, you know, the wash and dryer and all that stuff where the, the maid comes and she, she works out of here with all she needs to do. You got a little refrigerator here because you know guys, I got, you know I got another YouTube channel where I cook so I keep all my seasonings and stuff in here. Right here is actually really supposed to be the service room for the maid if they lived here. 
but I have all my, you know, my lights for my uh, recording and all my pots and pans and things like that for my cooking that I do. So this, this area is pretty much like storage. So, and we're going to walk out of here, walk back into the open area and we're gonna go upstairs. So this is a two level, three bedroom, three and a half baths apartment or condo, should I say. And once you get up here, we have this little seating area right here where you know we come here and if we don't wanna watch TV downstairs, we sit here and we watch TV right over here, right there, put a little TV on the wall. Then again, we have the another balcony. So this is the balcony on the ninth floor where you know if we wanna come out here and just be a little bit higher to enjoy the fresh air, we can do that. And over here we have our, the, we call it the third bedroom, which is we keep, we have this for guests. And we just, you know, we put a little futon in here, a little small bed right here for people who come over and may want to stay, put a little TV on the wall. And this bedroom also has its own bathroom, full bathroom, shower, all right. So we're gonna walk out of here, go over here to my daughter's room. This is my daughter's room. And so she has a lot of stuff in here, uh, but you know, she, this is, you know, her room, as I, I say, right up in here is her bathroom. So she has a full bathroom too. None of these, none of these uh, bathrooms have tubs. That's one thing I miss about the US. You can have the option to get a tub. Sometimes I just like to soak in a tub. But, you know, I've been taking showers here for uh, since I've been here for three years. So I guess I'm used to it right about now. And so we're going to go over here to the master bedroom. This is where, you know, my wife and I sleep right here. And just kind of give you a glimpse of this. We have a bathroom over there. That's a closet over there. dressers and a TV. Now, I want to say this. This apartment did come furnished when we got it. So basically the beds and the dressers and things like that that are in here were in here. But, you know, things like this right here in this area, we bought this. We kind of spiced it up for ourselves, like the futon in there. We brought that in here. Well, I'll take that back. That one TV in our room was theirs and they had one more and it was just too small. So we got rid of it. And, you know, we put the desk and, you know, all that stuff in here in my daughter's room with the chair. It came with the basics, like the beds, the nightstand and things like that. But other than that, we put in the, so in the couch too. I, we'll go back downstairs. So that's it for up here. Like I say, down here, it came with this right here, you know, with the, the, the furnishings downstairs, dining table, sofa, chair you know all that stuff it came with but other than that we put everything else in here so this is pretty much the setup of the apartment so yeah guys that's the end of the tour um like i said i just wanted to give you an idea of you know how you can live here in dominican republic like i told you i don't know if i mentioned in the beginning but like i say there are many different lifestyles you can live here in dominican republic this is just one of them there's maybe like three or four below me and like you know three or four above you know how i live because you know different different budgets you can get you know different things like i say um and it also depends on what area of town you live in and where we live is naco is considered middle or middle upper class so things around here especially because we live in distrito national are a little bit more um a little bit more pricey and i know you guys asking <laughs> so what what is the price what do you pay uh for this apartment so what we pay here is 1300 us so i know some people say oh man that's too much and that's fine it may not be within your budget but it's within our budget um matter of fact it's actually half of what we paid when we uh were living in um florida so to me, you know, that's a savings. Um, well, let me not say half because now, you know, it went up $100 when we first got here. It was $1,200, so, which, was, which was really half of what we was paying when we were living in Fort Lauderdale. But I guarantee you, if we were still in Fort Lauderdale in that place right now, uh, three years later, it'll probably still be 
uh, at this point at thirteen hundred dollars, half of what we're paying now with the way things are are skyrocketing in 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 the U.S. So, to me, that's still a great deal. Now, if thirteen hundred dollars is not in your budget, of course you can go less than that. Uh, and then you may not need all this space. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's another thing. You know the space. You know if you're one person, you probably don't need all this space, man. So. Uh, you can definitely go lower than that in the knock on Piantini area. You know, you can look at around maybe for one bedroom, nice place, you know, 24 hour security, um, elevators, you know, more amenities. You may can get it for maybe like eight, nine hundred dollars, maybe a thousand. But it just depends on the type of tower it is. If it's really brand new, a brand new tower, you're going to pay, you're going to be looking at around twelve, thirteen hundred dollars even for that. I know you're saying a one bedroom, but that's true. If it's brand new, all the men is going to be pretty much probably almost the same price this one is here. But if you get something that's a little bit older, you know, basic amenities, you can, you're looking at around eight, nine hundred dollars. But again, like I say, to me here, Dominican Republic, there's no rhyme or reason for any of the prices here. It's just whatever that that owner decides that they want to charge for, because you could get places here. One place can be $900. It can be an apartment right next door to it. Same type of layout. And that person to charge eleven dollars or $1,200. So it just all depends on how that owner, you know, feels like, you know, the value of their property is. So, and the value of your property, actually, to be honest, which is, is only valued to how much, you know, the person is willing to pay for it. So anyway, I just want to give you an idea of how you can live if you're here in Dominican Republic. Like I say, this is not to show off or anything like that because there's people that's living way much better than I am. But I just wanted to show for the people who have that second guessing that when they ask me, why you moved to Dominican? Isn't that a third world country? Yeah, but do it look like I'm living third world of you? So, you know, so people can understand that, you know, the some of the lies that they tell you in the U.S. is not always true. A lot of times it's not true. You know, people are living, you know, really normal lives over here and you can live a normal life and sometimes you can live a better life. And in my case, I, I know that we're living a better life here. So anyway, like I say, I just wanted to uh, drop in, drop this video so you guys get an idea. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And remember, always keep your goals at the forefront of your mind. Always live in the present because that's the only way you're going to live your best life. And I'm out. Your book was my best life. Yeah. Your book was my best life. Yeah. Something you and me are. Oh. Your book was my best life. Yeah. Jumping, flexing, I know. 